here at Port Orleans French Quarter, and we're gonna do a couple things. We're gonna show you how to shoot panoramic shots, and we're gonna eat beignets, right? Beignets. Beignets, and we're gonna also do a scavenger hunt. So let's go inside. Let's go. What are those? They're, they're coins. Look how cute these are. I don't know which one shows up better on your camera. Oh wait, that's not That's cute. They have pink ones too. It's the same. But still, that's so cute. Aww. That is cute. That is cute. I'll save some. Okay, so when you walk in here, you got five windows with different goodies, which is always awesome to explore and try different stuff. The first one here is the one that's the grill, which is the one that has the burgers and chicken sandwiches and all the other goodies. The next one, I guess it's uh, out of service. And the third one here is the one that has all the vignettes and all the goodies. So it's right here, which is the third window. The one right next to it is the pasta shop, which is awesome as well. And the last one over here is the one which is the salads. So make sure you try each of them, tons of options. And of course, there's fountain drinks over there which you can buy the cup and select the drink of choice. Okay, so we've officially ordered the vignettes. There's a total of six here. You can order three or six since we are with the family, since everybody wanted to come and try them out. Say hi. Hi. And we are going to try also the different sauces. This is caramel. We got strawberry, strawberry and chocolate. chocolate. And they have the regular powder on top. So we are going to go ahead and try them out. We'll be back in a minute. <laughs> okay, so we just finished the beignets. They were all awesome. I guess everybody agrees? Yes. And now we're going to go ahead and do a scavenger hunt of pumpkins here at Port Orleans French Quarter. So Kelly's going to take the lead on that one. So off we go. Off <laughs> we go. Okay, so if you got the chance, uh, do actually the scavenger hunt that is here at Port Orleans of French Quarter. Yeah. And there's a little paper that they give you and you got to look for, um, how many are there? Uh, Twelve? Thirteen. 13. So uh, have fun with that. Make sure you do that. And then you got to give it the results to the guy in the entrance. And I guess he'll give, you a, give us a prize. Yeah. Right? So for the panoramic shot, we're going to be taking this thing here. If you want to go ahead and pan around so they can see, we're going to be getting that part 
there. Mm -hmm. We're going to be getting down I this way as well good. and Come then on. down the other way. I feel like okay, so we got our camera set down here on the floor and basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking uh, five shots. One, two, three, four, five. Now the important thing is that each of the shots has a something that is shown on both of the shots because that's how the software is going to be able to stitch it together. So for example, I'm going to be shooting this and I'm going to make sure that this comes out in the shot and then the next one's going to have this thing which is how the computer is going to know where to stitch it together. So I got my camera here on a tripod and as you can see I have it free rotating which is very important also. Now you can do this handheld as well but it's, uh, it's better if you have it on a tripod because that way you'll get more uniform photos instead of something just going up and down. So I'm going to go ahead and point it in the first direction and take the photo. Point in the next direction, which is diagonal. And point it straight. You can use any type of tripod. I'm using this one, which actually is a pretty cool little tripod that I got recently, but you can use any big tripod. Or if you want to use it handheld, you can do it as well. So that's it. So let's take these photos back into the computer and let's stitch them together. Let's go. Okay, so here are the five photos that we took at Port Orleans. Okay, so here is one, two, three, four, five, in the order which we took them. Now, do notice that on at least um, each of the photo that follows it, that there's something in common. For example, this photo has this here, and if you go into the next one, it has this here. This is what's going to allow the computer to stitch it together and help us uh, later to do the panoramic shot. Okay, so if you got Lightroom, basically the only thing we need to do is make sure we're going to select all five photos. And I can do that by hitting the Shift key. And then on any of them, actually, I just have to right-click here and go to Photo Merge and hit Panorama. And it's going to bring up this window and um, if it's not selected once it's done we're going to make sure we click here cylindrical and we're going to make sure we hit here, auto crop and what that's going to do is if anything that's out of the photos that's uh, not shared with the next one it's going to automatically cut and make it a perfect rectangular like this okay once we got that done I'm gonna go ahead and hit merge and this is the result that we'll get back from the computer and you'll see it'll add um, automatically add the dash panel at the end of the file name here so once it's here just like any other regular photo you can come to develop and you can use any of your presets adjust the settings and stuff like that now once we got this panoramic shot there's still one more step that we need to do to be able to put it into Facebook where people can scroll around with their mouse and stuff like that because by default the image will not uh, work in um, in a Facebook so we're going to go ahead and open up Photoshop for that part and we're going to do a couple little more steps and that way it'll be able to put it to Facebook and you can be able to move it around really cool. Okay, so now that we got our file open up here in Photoshop, what we're going to do is actually we're going to open up a second file which is actually our template. And that template is what contains the information for Facebook to consider it as an object which is 360 degrees and allows us to do all the scrolling and fun stuff. Now I'll provide a link to this file so you guys can download it and eventually put it anywhere on your computer and that way use it for your photos when you do the process that we're going to do now. Okay, so what I'm going to do, as you can see, we already opened up Photoshop and the photo that we um, uh, put together as our panorama is here. So we're going to do file open and we're going to open that template file which is right here. And you're going to see it's going to open it as another tab. So we got two files open, the one that uh, we did and the one that is the template. So I'm going to come back to the one that we did and I'm going to select it all. Then select all and you'll see the marching ends around it. And just like any other document or program we can do copy, like file copy, in this case it's edit copy. And go to our panoramic template here and then we're going to do paste. Now you're going to see that the image is way bigger than what the template is and this is normal because obviously uh, the template is a certain size which is what uh, uh, Facebook uses. So we just need to resize this and what we're going to do is actually use our transform tool which we can do by doing control T or going to edit and doing free transform. And then we just have to resize the image to make it fit inside our template. This usually takes a little bit depending on the size 
And we're almost there, almost there, almost there. There we go. Now the good thing is that it will stick to the corners like this. So all I have to do is like move it to that corner, then drag. And this is the same thing. It'll automatically stick. You can see where it sort of like sticks to the uh, corners. And there we go. And once that's done, okay, I got a little red here. So I'm just going to span this a little bit. Just a little bit like that. That usually won't happen. Just that it looks like when I did the merge, it has that um that little uh, part there. Well, you can actually do a... I'm going to hit enter to save it. We can actually just use the healing tool here. And I'm going to do that right here quickly. And I'm going to select the healing tool, which is here. And what this does, let me make it smaller using the brackets. I'm just going to paint right over it and it should automatically fix it for me. Okay, so there's our image. Um, it is now inside the template. As you can see, all the details are there. Even though we resized it, all the, you know, all the uh, editing that we did to it is all there, nice and neat. And now we're going to save it. Now, but we want to do a save as because we want we don't want to write over the template and ruin it because obviously we want to be able to use this template again. So what we're going to do is you file save as because we want to put a different name to it, and we need to make sure it is JPEG. Okay, and I'm going to put a name here. Let's call it um, for Ordens. Okay, and we save it as a JPEG. Here on the default settings, we can leave it as default. I'm just going to hit 12 because I want the maximum quality on it and hit save. So now we've already gone and saved this as a file or JPEG. And that way, it has all the information that Facebook will need uh, because it's sitting on top of another file. So it will look at it as a 3D file. So let me go ahead and open up Facebook so you can see what I mean. Okay, so here is my Facebook page and I'm going to go ahead and uh, import that file and we'll just attach it to any album whatsoever. And again, since I'm using a, a template of the image and I put the image on top of that template, as soon as I upload it into here, it will automatically detect that it's a 360 degree file and provide that really cool option for people to scroll around in it. So I'm going to do uh, load my file and we'll look for the information where I saved the uh, file from Photoshop. Hit open, just give it a second. Now, if you want to see what I mean, we can go ahead and here and hit the uh, little brush. And you can see that I can now move around the image. And that way it looks really cool. And that's it, guys. Now, if I just want to do a panoramic shot, just like a long one like that, I can go ahead and turn it off. But this is the cool thing. You can come here and hit that. And you can now upload your photos that you have done in panoramic uh, using Lightroom and using your DSLR. Uh, directly into here to Facebook and that is how you create a panoramic shot into Facebook okay now I'll provide links for all these files and stuff like that so you can download them and do this stuff on your computer as well okay guys awesome okay so that's it for today's videos guys that's how you go ahead and you uh, create files using your DSLR and importing them into Facebook so you get that really cool 360 degree uh, feature that Facebook provides until then guys, stay awesome.